doing, guy? I'm gonna videotape you running into the tree when you unload. Easy. <laughs> I'm a trained professional. I was going for the shaded parking spot. Oh, the turnout. That's what you did. The early turnout. Quality. My fly racing ramp. Oh, that's the one that cuts hot dogs in half. <laughs> Andrew Short. Uh, beast of the East, best of the West. We talked to you last week uh, just before the shootout. And uh, you came away with your bragging rights, didn't you? <laughs> I don't know if they're bragging rights, but uh, I definitely got a little bit of redemption. I uh, had a hard week in between, you know. It was pretty disappointing to come so close, but uh, like I said last week, I got beat by a great, great racer, but this weekend went a lot better in Las Vegas. Um, I had a bad heat race. I went down first lap and uh, had to come from the back. And uh, so I was pretty mad again. It seemed like everything wasn't, hasn't been going very good. Um, after Seattle, and uh, I needed something to turn it around and get some momentum and confidence going again, and that main event, I definitely turned it around and, and did get some confidence. I knew I had 15 laps in me at a, a, a fast pace. I could um, hang it out at that pace we were going for a while, I think, and I think I had a little edge on Davey. He hadn't been able to ride as much with his injury, and I knew at the position I was at that I had a good chance of winning, and I just... Uh, put it all together, so I was pretty excited. I was really excited. I wasn't pretty excited. I was really excited. So uh, it was a great feeling. It, it was similar to in 03 when I didn't expect to win and, and Bubba went down, which was unfortunate, but it was so unexpected for me. I was on top of the world that race, and uh, that's kind of how I felt this weekend. Just I felt like I was so down after Seattle that I needed something to go right, and it definitely went right. Were you, uh, were you really comfortable on the dry, hard pack sections? Uh, Probably a lot like that Colorado track you grew up right now. <laughs> yeah, Colorado has its fair share of hard pack, but uh, it's it's also similar to our test track at Honda. It's real hard pack, slippery, had a groove in it, and uh, I, I felt solid on the track. The only place I felt a little uncomfortable was the dirt track section in the back. Had a it had a big groove in it, and uh, it was definitely something that was unusual that I didn't really see. So. Uh, other than that, I, I felt pretty solid this week, and uh, I'm looking forward to Hangtown. It's coming up. Did you ever think about uh, strapping a steel shoe onto your uh, left boot? <laughs> the guys at Alpine Stars, you know, they take care of us pretty good, but the steel shoe wasn't an option this week. And uh, I didn't want my foot to fall off going through the whoops or something, but uh, it was hard packed through there. It was, uh, it was a tricky section. It was pretty fun. It's something different. And uh, you almost need a chest protector back there because the roost is so bad. But uh, a good track for me. I obviously thought it was great because I won. So Last weekend, or last week rather, you were telling us how <clears throat> you wanted to beat your teammate, David Millsaps, because the, the <laughs> crap talking gets kind of thick in the semi. So uh, we got to hear what you, uh, what you nudged him with after the race. No, I, I couldn't give him a hard time. You know, It'd be one thing if we had a fair race, but he went down. and. I would have liked to race him the whole 15 laps, but uh, he kind of won up me by winning the championships. So I had to get something on him and uh, to hold my ground, you know. It's like we all get dressed at the same time before the race, and it's a good time just to have fun and joke with each other. And lately, I've been the, the butt of all the jokes, so now I can throw it back a little bit at least. So have you watched the race on, uh, on TV? Have, did you get recorded or anything? Yeah, I, I TV'd it before I left, so. I had Seattle TiVo'd and I had Las Vegas TiVo'd and I haven't watched Seattle yet. I was like, oh, I'll just watch Vegas. So maybe tonight I can, you know, deal with the pain of Seattle. But yeah, I watched it and uh, it was pretty cool. It brought a smile to my face for sure. So we're at uh, Kuiya, Kuiya Creek right now and you parked in the uh, shaded area. You try to stay cool. I noticed there's a tree over there with your name on it. What's the deal with that? Is it just like marking your territory? <laughs> no, we're out here fly racing. We're shooting uh, some photos for next year's catalog, and the gear looks really good, and I'm pretty excited about that. So uh, we're out here doing a little bit of riding and uh, getting some photos done as well. Then you, most people put their shoes in their gear bag, and you got yours in a tree. 
Yeah, you know, I, I normally wear designer shoes like uh, DVS. Uh, Dano, what's up? And, uh, but, yeah, I had to get rid of all my old shoes, so I'm helping everyone out so that they protect their heads, I guess.